Is this thing really worth two grand of your hard earned money? Let's find out. You can see your ball flight. So if you peach one right out of the middle, you can see exactly where your ball ends up. Now, if you don't have a sky track and you're just hitting into a net, then you don't get that same feedback. But it's also going to show you all those terrible slices that you hit to. The sky track is going to improve your accuracy. So you can choose what distance you usually hit your clubs. Then sky track will put targets at those distances and it will give you something called a dynamic handicap after each shot. Now this gives you a bit of feedback of how accurate your shots are and at the end of the session it will average out all of your shots and it will give you an idea of what kind of level you're performing at. It has a lot of features to improve your ability. One of the main ones that I like is called the randomizer which lets you choose two distances and then Skytrack will randomly pick targets in between those distances for you to hit. It's one of the cheapest launch monitors on the market. Trackmans and GC Quad are like 15 grand plus, so who really has the money to spend on those? It's easy to set up. Connect it to your iPhone, to your iPad, or to your Windows laptop, either wirelessly or you can plug it in and off you go. Make your setup as simple or as fancy as you like. I started off hitting into an old bed sheet in the garden. Then I've moved on to a frame with a hitting net. And then hopefully I'm going to move on to a golf room inside the garage of my new house. The numbers are accurate. According to research, when you compare the Skytrack to Trackman, the carry distances and the ball speeds are almost the same. You can use it indoors or outdoors. Currently, my main setup is outside, but I also have a scruffy old garage where I can play when it's cold, wet and windy outside. It's got a laser that shows you where to put your ball. Some launch monitors like the GC2 and the GC Quad don't have this feature, so it can be a bit hard work trying to figure out where to put your ball. You can build it into a proper simulator. There's some quality bits of software out there. I'm currently using something called World Golf Tour, but there are some brilliant ones like E6 Connect and especially the Golf Club 2019. So you don't even need to go to the course to get your 18 hole fix. Yes, it is expensive. It's not just the Skytrack launch monitor that you need to buy. You're going to need something to hit into, whether it's a net or an impact screen. You're also going to need to buy something to hit off. I managed to get hold of an old range mat from my local golf club. don't know how much they're supposed to be, but it cost me 12 cans of Stella. So that was a bit of a bonus. You've got to have space. You need plenty of room to swing a golf club. So if you're putting your simulator indoors, make sure you've got plenty of space. Definitely buy the full metal jacket. This thing is extortionate at £150 extra, but believe me, when you shank a ball into that Skytrack, it's going to cost you a hell of a lot more to get it replaced. You're going to need plenty of these. If you're anything like me, when you get a Skytrack, you're probably going to hit about five, 600 golf balls a day. That means you're going to go through a lot of golf gloves. If you're going for a simulator setup, you need a gaming PC. Now this is something I did not realise. I bought my Skytrack with the intention of getting some really good software, but that software requires a really strong graphics card and processor for you to run. So your standard laptop that you've got at home might not cut it. Not only that, the golf simulator software like the Golf Club and E6 Connect cost an arm and a leg they're about 900 pounds just to buy the game finally there's ricochets yeah i've had a few close calls i set the bed sheet up too close to the brick and hit the brick wall 
and it came back and these are my kitchen windows and I think if it hit something like up here bounced off that and it ended up going all the way over obviously this wasn't here it ended up going all the way over the back fence but I never heard a smash so that was a big bonus another close call that I had um, was in me set up now hit my shot and it ended up ricocheting off the metal bar at the top bounced down onto the patio bounced up and it went over the roof um, I heard it like clonk 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 on the roof uh, it went over round the other side until it landed on my driveway now believe it or not I didn't hit any of the cars so another very lucky escape In conclusion, my personal opinion is go and get yourself a Skytrack. Honestly, if you are into golf half as much as I am, you will absolutely love it. It can only benefit your golf game. I'm practicing three or four hours a day at the moment. Yes, it is expensive, but there's so much potential. You can start off basic like I did, hit the ball into a bed sheet, but like my plan is, I'm hopefully going to build it up and build it up into a proper golf simulator so that when those really cold, wet, horrible winters are here in the UK, I can just nip into my garage on somewhere like Pebble Beach or St Andrews. If you're someone who's thinking about getting a Skytrack and you can't make your mind up, bite the bullet, go for it, forget about the new extension, forget about replacing your windows, get yourself a Skytrack. And even if you do regret it in the future, then they tend to hold the value pretty well, so you can just flog it to somebody else. I can't see how you're going to be disappointed with the Skytrack. If you're a keen golfer looking to improve your golf game, then this has got to be the way forward for you. So, because we can't get out on the courses at the moment, I'm not actually sure how much Skytrack has improved my golf game. So stay tuned, like, subscribe, look out for new videos for when the lockdown is over, I'll let you know how I'm getting on.